Okay, good question. I mean, let's first understand what kufar means. The word ka kafir in Arabic means someone who denies, okay. uh, someone who rejects. Also implies someone who hides the truth. There were in the Quran's the, the Prophet's interaction with the Jews and Christ Jewish and Christian community. Those who, when they saw the Prophet, God claims realized that he is in fact the Prophet, and they saw confirmation of that in their own scripture. But realized that if they do say that out loud that they're going to be in a heap of trouble with their own people. So they chose the easier road of not saying it. In other words, they hid the truth. So the Quran doesn't call them disbelievers. He says, الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ Those who disbelieved from among the people of the book. There are people of the book that hadn't realized that he's the Prophet of God yet, hadn't found that confirmation. He didn't call them disbelievers yet. He just called them people of the book. Those who within the people of the book knew their scripture, investigated the Prophet's character, looked at what he had to say, and came to the conclusion that he is in fact the Prophet, and then rejected him, the Qur'an goes out of its way un unapologetically and calls them disbelievers. Disbelievers. And the word infidel, I don't even, like, I don't even know where it came from, but kafir literally means disbeliever. Okay. So someone who refuses to believe or someone who rejects the truth, knowingly. And that's the term used for that brand, that specific group within the people of the book. That's why the word min in uh, um, Surah uh, Al-Bayyina actually is so critical. لَمْ يَكُنِ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ وَالْمُشْرِكِينَ From out of the people of the book. From out of those who even idol worshippers. There were those who never rejected Islam. They just never knew about it. But those who saw it, saw the truth in it, were convinced of it and still didn't come to it, they're called kuffar. Deniers, non-believers. Non uh, actually, non-believers isn't even a good translation. I don't like, that's غير مؤمن, someone who doesn't believe. But kafir, kafara in Arabic, literally means denying the truth or, or hiding it. It's a crime. And so, it's even an oversimplification on some Muslims part that they call all non-Muslims kafir. Oh, they're kafir. They're, they've, they've rejected the truth. They haven't done the act of rejecting anything. Unless you're talking about someone who actually learned about the faith and then you know, came to be convinced of it and then turned away, that's kufr, that's denial. But that's not what, this, that's not what non, most non-Muslims are. So they may be Ahlul Kitab, they may be ghafil, unaware, you know, they may be uh, completely uh, not knowledgeable of the teachings. But to use that particular word is, in my assessment, at least in my studies of the Qur'an, it's unfair. To qualify this though, in non-Muslim or in Islamic history, it was an easy term to use for non-Muslims. Like kafir just became like the term to use for non-Muslims. But we shouldn't distinct. We should make a distinction between the the usage, the average usage, usage of Muslims and the Quran's like microscopic, uh, surgically precise usage of the term. And it, in my opinion, shouldn't be made a casual term to use.